Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 beta 4 the latest release by Apple, which is an amazing update with a lot of new features and changes. Apple actually is doing a great job with iOS 16 and they're adding more and more new features with the betas that they're releasing and of course making adjustments and changes to iOS 16, which make this a great update. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new features and changes that you will find on iOS 16 beta 4. Let's start things off with the lock screen. Now, when you go to your lock screen on iOS 16 beta 4 and you try to edit one of your lock screens, now you will get this text right here. Now it says unlock to edit. So you won't be able actually to edit any of your lock screens without unlocking your device. And also the lock right there that you see on iOS 16, that just disappears once you unlock your device. But now with iOS 16 beta 4, it will actually stay a bit longer there on the lock screen when you unlock unlock your device you will have like like a second or so it shows you the unlock lock right there on the lock screen as you know by now on iOS 16 when you're trying to create a new lock screen and you have a wallpaper like this that has a blurred background so you have an object in focus here you will get a bunch of different filters which you can apply to that wallpaper well we have a new one with beta 4 and that is called color backdrop and it actually adds this really nice effect to the wallpaper making the wallpaper look way different when talking about wallpapers, we have new wallpapers, but unfortunately, they are currently available only on CarPlay. A big shout out to Steve Moser for posting this on Twitter, so you can see right here, the three new wallpapers. Now, these wallpapers are the stock iOS 16 wallpapers. The one right there is the one that we have currently without a dark mode, and here you can see we have another two, and of course, both of them, actually, the three of them have a dark mode as well. So you can see the blue one, the gray one, and the original one each of them actually have a dark mode now if you want to get these wallpapers you can actually get them right now simply install this app called wallpaper central and you will find the wallpapers here and you can see they have the dark mode and the light mode as well without changes on the music player on the lock screen as well so you will notice the scrubber here is much thicker and when you tap on it it actually gets much bigger allowing you to easily manage your music and of course move around your song now this interface has also changed if you're air playing your music some somewhere let's just airplay to the mac here you will notice that now you will have also here like thicker sliders for the volume right there and of course for the music as well there's another change here on the lock screen. When you go to delete one of your lock screens, you know, you can just tap here. It will show you this pop-up and actually now it has like a new description there. It says that this wallpaper will be removed from both from the lock screen and home screen. And of course you have the option to delete the wallpaper from here. There are some minor changes on the clock widgets as well. Basically, the naming is different. Now we have City Digital and City Analog. These two have been changed from iOS 16 Beta 3. On iOS 16 Beta 4, when you're typing something like here, I'm typing something and I tap here to record a voice me message, you can see what it says right here. To record an audio message, clear the type text. So it will ask you to clear that first and then you can go ahead and record your message. Now playing around with the iMessage app on iOS 16 beta 4, I got this pop-up. I don't know if anyone got this before on the previous betas, but the first time I'm seeing this right here on beta 4 and basically it tells you that you can basically type while you speak so you can actually dictate and of course type at the same time we know that that's a feature that apple has talked about at wwdc 2022 but now you will actually get that pop-up just letting you know that you can actually do that on safari you will see now a change here a new look for the tabs view when you go to tabs view you will have a much nicer look much cleaner here and actually it shows you the wallpaper that you have on the background of your home screen with a blur on it and it looks much much nicer opening the app store on iOS 16 beta 4 and going to your account you will notice that subscriptions have now been removed from the app store you will only have purchased and notifications while subscriptions will only be on your iCloud in the settings app and let's move on to the settings app we have here a new display as for the notifications now of course we had the options previously but now it shows you like with graphics there what you're doing so we have count stack and list 
basically you can choose between these but you don't know how they look when you choose them of course that was on beta 3 now you will have there the graphics which show you how your notifications will look when you select each of the options Moving on to the mail settings, now you know that on iOS 16 you can undo a send email, but now you will have the option to actually set the time for that. So you go to settings, you go to mail settings, here you will have at the very bottom undo send delay and you can turn it off completely or you can choose from 10 20 or 30 seconds there is a small change on the mail app as well when you swipe on one of your emails instead of saying later now it says remind me on the settings app if you go to display and brightness and scroll all the way down you will have display zoom here now we have a change right here now it says default this used to say standard and right here now it says a larger text and it used to say zoom so that has changed on the settings app with iOS 16 beta 4 and going to wallet and apple pay if you just scroll all the way down here you will find now a new option to enable or disable notification or wallet from here talking about notifications we have new notifications on the weather app as well just go to the weather app and go to the list of cities tap on the three dots right there and go to notifications now you will have severe weather and you can enable it from here of course you can go to any of the cities that you have on the list and you can actually enable these so you just tap right there allow and you're good to go so you can do that for your location or for any of the cities that you have on the list on the health app you know we have a new medications feature this has been adjusted here basically shows you a description and when you actually search for any medication it will show you more words there are more descriptions about that this image here has changed as well and if you scroll all the way down and you go to options you will have now a new option here to detect time zone changes now this is really important if you actually use this feature make sure you go ahead and enable this and an older iOS feature has made a comeback with iOS 16 beta 4 and that's the ability to search web from the list here so when you select a text you can now search the web this was a feature of course previously on ios but it had been removed on ios 16 and it's finally back on the books app now we have a few changes as well basically on the fonts here so if you go to the books app and you go to options right here we'll have fonts and you will have way more fonts now with ios 16 beta 4. Last but not least, we have a few new splash screens for the Notes app. When you open the Notes app for the first time, this is the splash screen that you will see, what's new in Notes. So we'll have quick notes there, more powerful smart folders, and also remember one last password, which is basically the feature that allows you to unlock your notes using the same password that you use for your device. And then we have another one here for the Weather app, the, the feature just I just showed you guys for announcing severe weather alerts this is what you will see when you open the weather app for the first time on ios 16 beta 4. so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one